debate about you know the whole debate about the difference between the word Chodesh and Yirak. Right. And the argument is, is that the word Chodesh does not mean new moon. It just means Rosh Chodesh just means head of the month. And it does mean yeah. head of the month. They yeah. also say that Yirak means just moon. It has nothing to do with the word month. Well, well you have synonyms. True. You have synonyms. So it'll, it'll, it'll have dual meanings. Just, you know, so it depends on the context that you use it or the subject matter. For right. instance, if you're talking about just the moon, it's your rock, right? But if you're talking about like the head of the month or new moon time, it's another word. And it's a synonymous with the word new moon. So, it, I mean, you have the same thing in English where you have synonyms, right? So yeah. Peter don't seem to get that. Well, a lot of people don't because I see other people using the same argument as well. The thing is, is I did a word search on the word Yirak, and it comes up 12 times in the entire Tanakh. But look, look, look right here. It's used twice for the word month. One time in 2 Kings chapter 15, verse 13, and you can see right here, it says month of days. It's even how it's translated in the English, a full month. <laughs> but check this out. Check this out. In Deuteronomy, the same thing, the month of days. There it is, Yerach. And this is pre-Babylon. Yeah. So the whole argument about, well, the loony calendar or the solely loony calendar is Babylonian. Well, look right here in the Torah. This, yeah. is, before, this is before David. Yeah. I could tell you how the this lunar solar got to Babylon. It didn't come from Babylon. It came to Babylon, and it was through Daniel. Daniel was the one that taught Yahuwah's calendar to the wise men of Babylon. And this is how the wise men of, the, of Yeshua's uh, birth found him. It's because they had that knowledge of the stars in the first yeah. place. The, the calendar was not changed until way after Yeshua. And this is why someone was saying in one of my uh, videos today in a, in a comment about, well, you know, why, why was it? How do, how do we know Yeshua was on this calendar? Well, first of all, he didn't address it, which means there was nothing wrong with it at the time. Had there been something wrong with the calendar, he would have addressed that. So we know that the calendar wasn't messed with until Constantine. This, this is 300 years after Yeshua. And this is when Hillel changed the calendar. And it wasn't Babylon. It was Roman. It was Roman. It had nothing to do with Babylon. So this argument that, you know, came from Babylon. No, it did not. It came to Babylon. And it was brought there by uh, Daniel. So uh, their argument don't even stand. But I really love the fact that. I had this uh, second witness come from uh, Adam out of nowhere. I mean, I mean, he was studying, the, he read the same text that I was studying. I kid you not. I got it pulled up still right now. I didn't even read it the other day. <laughs> oh, is that the, the one from Sirach? Well, no, no, no. This is Enoch. This is mm. Enoch. Okay. And, um, and I, it's still at the same place. I didn't even read it, which is the 73rd chapter, going, 72 going into 73. And it was, it's the same thing that Adam uh, read. Every month is the rising and setting as, days, uh, as the days of the sun. Talking about the moon. Yeah. And, it, and how it lights up a 14th part of its light. Right? So that little tiny sliver that we couldn't see on the first day that we were looking for, it was because it was so small. It, it's, when it's, it's when it's 2% is when you can really see it. And it builds every night all the way up into full and then it wanes and, and it's laid out in Enoch that very, that, that very part. I mean, it, it, he goes through the whole thing. He goes through the whole calendar to be honest, but this particular chapter, he's talking about the, the lesser light, which is um, the moon. And he, and he confirms um, that it, it measures the months. And this is how we reckon, you know, the, the months and stuff, but also the years you know, at, at a beam time and, and how the sun plays a role. He goes into all of that in these, in these chapters of Enoch. So, and this is, and, and I, think, I didn't really understand this, but Zen calls the uh, lunar, he's on the same calendar I'm on. 
Right. But he calls it the Enochian calendar. And I couldn't figure out why was he calling the, the Enoch calendar? Well, it's because Enoch lays it out. He lays out that that um, the moon is, is you know, you will create it to, to, for us to reckon. And, you know, he gives us the head of the month, tells us pl point blank that the 30th day is a dark moon. And then the, the, uh, the moon is born with that first little tiny crescent. And it's, it's hardly seen at all. It's 1 14th. But it builds all the way up to a full and wanes out. It covers the whole thing. <laughs> so, so I didn't even get to, to go to it. As soon as I saw him post that, I was like, oh, man, I'm just going to. He put it together so beautifully. I just played his video. Mm. Yeah. So I still got it pulled up. Anyway, um, I had all of those tables uh, done in Oregon. And this is a this is probably a couple of weeks before we had the meeting with him in Zoom. So this was already brewing under his skin. He was, mm -hmm. he was really trying to figure out a way. The, the only way to disprove that calendar and was to discredit me. He had to discredit me in some way. And so nobody would take the calendar serious. That's, that's the only logic I could think of why he did what he did. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he was not going to be done like that. The truth is the truth. And more people see it. That's the crazy thing, man. I can't believe well, it. I, I just had to do a little bit of my own scouring. And just by doing a word search, I just, you know, I I was listening to that argument about the difference between those two words. And, I mean, there's your proof right there. That's, that's, not, that's not true. The, yep. word, the word the word Iraq is it does mean moon, but it's also associated with the month month, and you can prove it with two scriptures or two and scriptures. vice versa. And vice versa, the the other end of that is is Rosh Chodesh is is also dealing with the month and moon. That mm. word month comes from the word moon. The, it used to be month. Month, yeah, month. So, and it's not a it's not a uh, an, um, coincidence that most native peoples used to call it you know so many moons from now that i'll see you in three moons right that's how right. they would say three months or three three moons ago right this was most most well, cultures they, they still so the, they still celebrate the new moon yeah the hebrews are one of the oldest um cultures on earth next to the chinese and egyptian so <laughs> this notion that that uh, this kind of information comes from Babylon is just it, right. it's it, it's it's a misnomer. It doesn't even make any sense. Right. Um, you know, Enoch is one of the oldest books, and he lays out the plan or the functions of the whole solar system. You know, the cold. Uh, I, I get in trouble when I say solar system <laughs> <laughs> constellation, and it's a big clock, big hand, little hand. Um, it all is. Um, plays a role and I find it really interesting if you look at a time lapse taking a picture of the sun and the moon every day it makes an infinity sign in the sky right you ever notice that that means yeah. forever yeah infinity means forever so he does say that about the sun and the moon and how it's it it's for forever it's it's a sign forever these it, it's once he started it, it 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 goes forever no man can can alter it or change you can make lies about it, make stuff up, but it is what it is. The sun knows it's going down, right? Um, wheat knows when its season is, right? We can't manipulate that. So, yeah. Anyway. Well, yeah, I just kind of wanted to point those couple things out. Well, yeah. I appreciate you sharing that with me, man. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. How you doing? You doing some tree work? Um, actually, no. I'm doing right now. I'm doing a um a garden bed. It's something a little bit easier. Yeah. Still hard work, but it's not quite as hard as doing the trees. I um, I've got some tree stuff going on, but I've really kind of just kicked it down in the low gear with that stuff. And yeah, I have to do just enough just to get by. I can't I can't romp on it every day like like I used to, and I'm. I kind of well, if you was on the East Coast, you could we could uh, run down to Florida and do some. Oh up man, work. all my buddies are running down there, and it's like I'm surprised I haven't gotten any phone calls. Um, yeah. 
but I, I don't think I would go. I, I really don't think I could go right now, even if I wanted to. Um, so I'll let them all go down there and fight for that work. <laughs> I hear you, man. Yeah. I mean, with these storms nowadays anymore, I mean, everybody in the whole country just flocks down and it just turns into like a, just a big, you got people step on each other's toes and people will get in the way. I mean, and granted, there's plenty of work for everybody. And I guess this is a pretty bad storm from what I'm hearing. Yeah, so there's gonna be a lot, of, a lot of cleanup work. Damn mm -hmm. trees that are already down on the ground and stuff yeah. like that. So you wouldn't have to really climb, I wouldn't think. Well, I mean, it gets to be quite a chore when you got trees on top of houses and stuff, and you know that's that's more for the guys like with the cranes and the grapples and stuff. They come in and the big machinery, you know. Right. Let them take care of all that stuff. There's some climbing work, but not a whole lot. It's mostly just, just you know, cleaning up everything. Like you said, it's just been blown over. And so, but yeah, I've been doing some some uh, little stuff just to uh, stay chugging along. And I, I have to be careful about how I put myself out there because, you know, I'm trying to file for this disability. And if they find out that I'm doing a whole bunch of work, which I'm not really doing anyways, they might you know stick it to me but yeah i hear you well be careful man yeah yeah i will i will and i'm not i'm not doing too much just enough like i said just enough just to to float <laughs> you guys going to adams for to cope um that's the plan um i mean we've done um we've done pesach there and we've done shabuot so we just kind of want to just follow suit and just finish the year off and i hear you all right uh, just does your far. does your phone do FaceTime? Uh yeah, yeah, I have an iPhone. It does FaceTime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so when you when you go and you're you're with Adam, I want to do a FaceTime with you and um, holler at Adam. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, for sure, bro. All right, man. All right, all right, bro. Be blessed. All right, you too, brother. I love you, man. All right, you too, bro. Shalom. Bye.